hello everyone welcome back to my chem corner so in today's video we are going to do one of the reaction as a revision uh, which is frequently asked in the exam for the second PUC exam so before we move to the video if you are new to this channel please do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive notifications as and when I upload the video so let's start the topic for today so we are going to do a revision on hydroboration oxidation reaction all right so we are going to do hydroboration oxidation reaction now this is coming from the chapter alcohols phenols and ether all right so for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a propene molecule which is an unsymmetrical alkene so i've taken propene here and since it says hydroboration I'm going to take a molecule here which is B2H6. Alright, so here when I'm going to write it down, I'm going to write it in such a way that I get to know what is the positive center and the negative center in the molecule. So all that I've done is instead of writing B2H6 like this, I just took BH3 and put it twice. In that, the hydrogen part is going to be one center. BH2 is going to be the other center which is going to bond across the double bond. Now when you are trying to form bonds over here, one thing you need to identify is of the hydrogen and B, which one is going to attack on which carbon atom of the double bond. So for that you have a rule over here and this is going to follow anti Markovnikov's rule. Alright, anti Markovnikov's rule is going to be followed here. So, in a Markovnikov's rule, what do you say? The negative part is going to bond to the carbon containing least number of hydrogen atom. But if it is anti Markovnikov, it's going to be the opposite. So, before that, let's identify the positive and negative center here. Since hydrogen is here, this is going to be positive and B is going to be negative. Now, negative will bond to the carbon that contains more number of hydrogen atoms across the double bond as per the anti Markovnikov rule. So, boron will go to this carbon, hydrogen will go here. So, when you try to write the structure, you get CH3, CH, the bond double bond breaks and you get only a single bond. Now, when you are trying to write the substituents here, this will have BH2 and this will have a hydrogen. This is going as per anti Markovnikov's rule. Now remember one thing, on this boron that's bonded over here, there are two more hydrogens which can be replaced with a whole alkyl chain. Just like how you did right now. So I'm just going to repeat the steps over here. So I'm going to write down again one more alkene chain, which is the propene chain. It's going to follow the same rule. This boron still is going to be negative. The hydrogen, two hydrogens out of that one is going to be positive. So one of the hydrogen will go to this carbon which has least number and the boron is going to go to the terminal carbon. So when I try and draw the structure here, this is going to be CH2, CH2. This is going to be the topmost molecule that is here. Boron with one hydrogen and this is the new molecule. Alright, so this is how it's going to form. Now boron has again one more hydrogen which can be replaced. So I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to add another propene molecule. And when I add that what is happening here, all the three hydrogens around boron is now changing. So I'll have CH2, CH2 and CH3. And the last one which is CH2. CH2 and CH3. So here in the end what has happened? Boron which initially had three hydrogens around itself now has three alkyl group around itself. But still we haven't yet come to the preparation of alcohol. We have one more last step to be done. In this process what we are going to do is let's take the last product that you have here and do one last step. So here I have CH3, CH2, CH2. I'm just writing that same product over here just to show you what happens in the last step. So I have this CH2, CH2 and CH3. Now in the last you need to get an alcohol. So what do you do? I'm going to add three water molecule. Along with this, I'm going to add H2O2. Why am I adding H2O2? Because it is an anti Markovnikov's rule in the presence of OH minus. Now what will happen is each of this alkyl group will pick up OH and it's going to form 
सी एच थ्री सी एच टू सी एच टू ओ एच हाउ मेनी ऑफ दीज एल्कल ग्रुप थ्री आते हैं बिकॉज थ्री आर बॉन्डेड अराउंड द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ वॉटर विल गो टू बोर ऑन टू फॉर्म एच थ्री बी ओ थ्री सो यू आर फॉर्मिंग प्रोपेनॉल फ्रॉम प्रोपीन बाय हाइड्रोपोरेशन ऑक्सीडेशन नाउ दिस इज वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दट कैन बी आस्ड फॉर अ श्योर थ्री मार्कर इफ यू गो बैक थ्रू द प्रीवियस वॉट इज ए वीडियोज आई हैव डन अ वीडियो वेर दर इज अ कन्वर्जन ऑफ क्यूमीन टू फिनॉल आइदर दैट कैन बी आस्ड फॉर थ्री मार्कर और दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ड फॉर थ्री मार्कर फ्रॉम एल्कोहल्स फिनॉल्स बी द चैप्टर all right so go through this particular equation and cumin to phenol equation thoroughly all right i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching